In today's video, we have a variety of NHL signings to discuss, including some college free agent signings. We have some drafted players signing their entry-level contracts, and we also have a few NHL players signing contract extensions. We'll get into all the latest coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams, so if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top, we have a variety of NHL signings to discuss here today, including some college players getting signed, some NHL extensions, as well as some junior players signing their entry-level contracts, players have mostly been drafted here over the past year or two with NHL clubs. So let's dive into today's news. Let's get started here with the Detroit Red Wings signing goaltender Jimmy Howard to a one-year contract extension. Now the cap hit is just over $4 million for the one year, but he can actually earn over $5 million. The way Jimmy Howard's contract is structured, he's able to earn over a million dollars in bonuses. So I guess we'll see how he, uh, how he does next year. But the $4 million cap hit, pretty good deal for the Red Wings. They really don't have a clear-cut younger goalie coming up to kind of take over here. Uh, obviously, Jonathan Bernier is still under contract with the Red Wings as well. Um, but Jimmy Howard really kind of needed to stick around, I think, for the Red Wings as they continue this rebuild. He really didn't show any desire to leave and was quite happy to get an extension. And he did indicate as well he's quite happy and pleased to take it one year at a time if he needs to uh, for the time being here as he kind of rides out the remainder of his career with the Red Wings. Seems important to him to kind of finish things up there in Detroit until he's ready to retire. Now, we also saw the Toronto Maple Leafs sign forward Nick Patan, who they acquired from the Winnipeg Jets at the trade deadline to a two-year contract extension worth $775,000. Pretty decent signing. I think Patan's looked pretty decent uh, in the limited action he's had with the Leafs since they acquired him, obviously mostly in fourth-line duty. But Nick Patan's a prospect that's been in Winnipeg's system for a long time and has been struggling to get a solid, regular opportunity at the NHL level. Hopefully that opportunity will not come with Toronto and obviously they have a lot of decisions to make going into next year. There's a lot of contracts to be sorted and it's certainly very important for Toronto that they have a lot of decent players playing in that bottom six role with very team friendly contracts and this certainly could play into that. So pretty decent signing overall by the Leafs. Good deal for Patan as well to continue his NHL career in two more years with the Toronto Maple Leafs to prove himself and uh, see if he can get a better longer term, more valuable contract here after that. Now let's jump over and take a look at a few players that have signed their entry level contracts, mostly players here that have been drafted over the past year or two with the NHL clubs. The Minnesota Wild have signed one of their 2018 draft choices, Alex Kovanov, who's a center iceman, uh, to a three-year entry-level contract. He's been playing the last couple seasons with the Moncton Wildcats of the QMJHL. Put up some pretty decent numbers. Last year's third-round selection by the Wild put up 74 points in 64 games with the Wildcats, so certainly has been developing quite nicely. So he's now officially signed by the Minnesota Wild. He certainly could continue to play another year of junior with Moncton. Of course, that's not quite clear as of yet, but at least he's under contract here with the Wild. The St. Louis Blues have signed 18-year-old goaltender prospect Joel Hoffer to a three-year contract as well in an entry-level deal. Hoffer was also a 2018 draft selection picked in the fourth round. He's been playing in the Western Hockey League. He split last year between Portland and Swift Current. If you take a look at his numbers, they're not the most flattering, but the Western Hockey League is a fairly higher scoring league for sure. And some of the goalies come out of those leagues with not the greatest looking statistics, but overall he appears to be a pretty decent goalie prospect drafted in the fourth round last year. So we'll see here. He's now under contract with the St. Louis Blues heading into next year. The Carolina Hurricanes have signed 2017 third round selection Stelio Mathias to an entry level contract for three years here as well. The 2017 draft selection has been playing in the Western Hockey League with the Brandon Wheat Kings and have put up back to back 90 point seasons. So he's certainly progressing quite nicely with Brandon and we'll see next year uh, where he goes from here. But he's certainly looking pretty good at the junior level. So good signing here by the Hurricanes. The Columbus Blue Jackets have signed goaltender Elvis Merzlikens to a one year entry level contract. Due to his age, he's now 24 years of age. He was originally drafted way back in 2014 as a third round selection but he's been playing for Lugano in the NLA for the past few years and it looks as though he's ready to come over to North America no. so he'll be under contract for next season with the Columbus Blue Jackets organization obviously more than likely he'll play for one of their minor league affiliates see how that goes and see if he can earn himself an NHL opportunity here down the road the New York Islanders have signed college undrafted free agent Grant Hutton who's a right shot defenseman who was captain of his team at Miami of Ohio here to a two year entry level contract the right shot defenseman appears to have pretty good leadership qualities as well being the captain there put up some pretty decent numbers as well now that his season has concluded in college hockey he's officially signed so he'll begin next year in the islanders organization more than likely playing for their american hockey league affiliate 
The Nashville Predators have signed Rem Pitlick, who was a 2016 third-round selection to a three-year entry-level contract. He's been playing college hockey for the University of Minnesota, and now that his season's concluded, he's decided to turn pro and sign with the Predators. Of course, that contract, again, kicks in next season. Now, of course, I'll have a reminder here that I mentioned the other day, talking about some of these college signings. Some of these players, even though their contracts might not kick in until next year, can be signed to American Hockey League tryouts as well for the remainder of the current season so they can get in some action under their belts to the pro hockey life here, um, you know, for the remainder of this year, just kind of get their feet wet. So you very well might see announcements around some of these players doing that here as well. Tampa Bay Lightning have signed a seventh round selection from 2016, Ryan Lowen. He can play all three forward positions. He can play center, right wing, and left wing. So he's very versatile. It's a pretty good signing by the Lightning. The Lightning is a team who's been very, very good at building a lot of organizational depth. And this is certainly how you do it. Late round draft selections like 6th and 7th rounders who end up getting signed are certainly a big part of that. They've been having a pretty good knack here for finding those late round picks for sure. So a pretty good signing here by the looks of it by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now we also have a couple signings here to announce the players that were playing in the Canadian University League here. A couple of distant battle against each other in the CIS National Championship game. One coming from the UNB Reds and one from the Alberta Golden Bears. The Calgary Flames have signed Alberta native and 23-year-old Luke Phillip to an entry-level contract here for two years. Obviously, he was just playing with the University of Alberta Golden Bears, who just lost in the national championship game to the UNB Reds. Unfortunately, he was not able to compete in the final due to injury. Phillip had a really solid season, putting up 45 points in 24 games. So, obviously, he's going to get a crack here at the NHL, certainly taking the long road. Many of the players in Canadian University Hockey were guys who went through the major junior system, uh, did not get drafted or did not get signed, at least, end up going through Canadian University hockey get himself an education uh, you know still playing a pretty good level of hockey and then if the ones who do really well sometimes get cracks like this to go on to the NHL it's not real common but it does happen and there's certainly a few good stories out there like for example a Joel Ward who just recently retired uh, who went that route as well so you do what you got to do and this guy's worked hard here to get himself an NHL opportunity and he's going to have a chance to do that now with the Calgary Flames one other signing as well as the Ottawa Senators have signed Chris Clapperton who was playing with the national champions UNB Reds but this contract is only only for the American Hockey League, so it's a contract for the Belleville Senators only, but if things go well there, obviously that could lead to other things down the road. But another great example of a player who went through junior hockey, then ended up in university hockey, done very well for himself. He's got some national championships here with UNB, and now he's going to have an opportunity to play pro hockey in the American Hockey League level and see if he can work his way over to the NHL. So that is all your signings here for today. Obviously, we covered many teams signing players, so give me your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section, and we can continue the conversation. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams and there's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy so if you're new hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up before you go i'd appreciate it if you did as always thank you very much for watching everybody we will catch you next time